morning this is pj it is sunday august 29th 2021 we're here the 14th sunday after the pentecost year b it is sunday so we are going to be doing our four readings today the four readings of church instead of the three daily lectionary readings our first reading today comes from deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 1 and 2 and then verses 6 through 9 so now israel give Heed to the statutes and ordinance that I am teaching you to observe, so that you may live to enter and occupy the land that the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. You must neither add anything that I give to you to command or take away from it, but keep the commandments of the Lord, your God, with which I am charging you. You must observe them with diligently. For this will show your wisdom and discernment to the people, who when they hear all of the statues, they will say, Surely this is a great nation that is wise and discerning people. For what other great nation has a God so near to it as the Lord, our God, is whenever we call for him? And what other great nation has statues and ordinances? just as the entire law that I am setting before you today. But take care and watch yourself closely, so as neither to forget the things that your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your mind. For all the days of your life, make them known to your children and your children's children. Our psalm reading today comes from Psalm chapter 15. O Lord, who may abide in your tent? who may dwell on your hill, those who walk blamelessly and do what is right and speak the truth from the heart, who do not slander with their tongue and who do not do evil with their friends, nor take a reproach above their neighbors. And those eyes that are wicked and despised, but who honor those who fear the Lord, who stand by their oath, even to their hurt, who do not lend money at an interest, and who do not take a bribe against the innocent. Those who do these things shall never be moved. Our second reading today comes from the book of James, chapter 1, verses 17 through 27. Hear these words. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above coming down from the father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change in fulfillment of his own purpose he gave us birth by the word of truth so that we would become a kind of first fruit of his creatures you must understand this my beloved that everyone be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to anger For your anger does not produce God's righteousness. Therefore, rid yourself of all the sordidness and the rank growth of wickedness, and welcome the meekness with the implanted word that has the power to save your souls. But be doers of the word, not merely hearers who deceive themselves. For if any hearers of the word and not do, then they are like those who look at themselves in a mirror, for they look at themselves and on immediately go away and forget what they look like. But those who look into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and persevere, being not hearers who forget, but doers who act, they will be blessed by their doing. If any thinks that they are religious, and do not Burdle their tongue, but deceive their hearts. Their religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God. The Father is this, to care for orphans and widows, and the distress, and to keep oneself unsustained by the world. Our gospel reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark. We jump around a little. We have Mark chapter 7, verses 1 through 8, 14 and 15, and then 21 through 23. Now, when the Pharisees and some of the scribes who had come 
from Jerusalem gathered around him. They noticed that some of his disciples were eating with defiled hands, that is, without washing them. For the Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they thoroughly wash their hands, thus observing the tradition of the elders. And they do not eat anything from the market unless they wash it. And there are also many other traditions that they observe, the washing of cups, the pots, and the bronze kettles. So the Pharisees and the scribes asked them, why do your disciples not live according to the tradition of the elders, but eat with defiled hands? He said to them, Isaiah prophesied rightly about you hypocrites. As it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching human precepts as doctrines. You abandon the commandment of God and hold to human traditions. Then he called the crowd again and said to them, Listen to me, all of you, and understand. There is nothing outside a person that by going in can defile, but the things that come out are what defile. For it is from within, from the human heart, the evil intentions come. Fornification, theft, murder, adultery, avariance, wickedness, deceit, Licentness, envy, slander, pride, folly. All these evil things come from within, and they defile a person. Here ends our readings for the day.